Chapter 8, Search and Rescue. Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming. And welcome back to Dead Space. <sighs> That's better. Oh, shit. Things are looking up. <sighs> A military ship just stocked in. The USM Valor. I don't know what it was doing out there. It must have gotten our distress signal. We can't talk to it until the comms array is fixed. I'm gonna hack the door to communications for you. Get in there and find the comms control station. I can't remember if we actually experienced that in the la at the end of the last episode or not. But anyways, why do those things always jump scare me? You think I'd expect it by now, right? All right. Hmm. This all seems mighty familiar. <laughs> Okay, that was a very not nice noise coming out of there. Boy, we have some monstrosity waiting in store for us, don't we? Oh boy, it's gonna be a good one. I'm buying ammo. All right, we are all stocked up and I got an achievement called Big Spender, which I am to believe is, okay, yeah, for spending a total of 300,000 credits at the store. Very nice, very good, yes. Okay. Hello! Giant monstrosity. Oh, this is... We're back here again. Except now the elevator no work. It was probably a brute. That's why this area looked familiar. Oh yeah, something bad happened in here. Ah! Oh god, why do I why did I pick that up? I don't need that. Do I have any power nodes? And if I do, should I use I have one. I have one power node. I'm going to increase the damage of the plasma cutter. So now when we shoot the monstrosities, they will take more owies. Gotta make my way! Oh, hi! You came from around the corner! Oh. Alright. I know there's more, y'all. Hi! Bullshock! Yeah! He got stormed. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. Ah, oh, there you are. All right, are we done? Nope. <laughs> that answers my question, I guess. Bam! <laughs> and, uh, come on. Ooh, oh, oh. There we go. Just like ducks at a carnival. Where, I hear you, I hear somebody slathering around. Ah, there you are. <laughs> he made like a golem gurgle when he died. Oh! Oh, that's not good. I forgot how fast those guys are. Ah! Oh, oh, God! Hello! Oh, 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 shit! You're not dead! It better be after all that close quarters horrifying combat nonsense. Don't have room. I do need emulation though. Thank you. Okay, don't have room for that probably. Don't need those. What is that? Oh, the river blades. Yeah, don't need. Don't need. What's this? Good. 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 Elevator, you say? I'm just trying to pick up stuff. Don't worry. Gotta get them credits. Gotta get that money, yo. Making that paper. Well, it's not paper anymore. Making that cyber chip. Okay. Time to go on the elevator. Uh, where, where are we? Where are we going? Up. Well, yeah. But which way? 
Level two is what we're on. Okay, so level three then. Level one is no longer accessible. Isaac, the door to communications is open, but I've been getting some weird feedback spikes on the local comms. I think someone's listening in on us, so be careful. Ooh, somebody hacked our comms. We have a third party spy among us, huh? Is it a Russian spy? A German spy? Perhaps even a Norwegian one? <laughs> yep, those darn Norwegian spies. They've always been a thorn in the side. I'm gonna chop off all your limbs, do da, do da. I'm gonna chop off all your limbs until you stink freaking die. I need more plasma energy because I just used a lot of it. Uh, reload, please. Now can I have? Ah, well, it let me pick up a couple of them. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, wait a minute. I know, I probably wasted a small med pack, but hey. Extra room for ammo. Heh. <laughs> hey, oh, hello. There's another one! I didn't know there were so many of you waiting around the corner over here! Goodness! Excuse me, I, I had to get my thing lined up right, you see. Since your tentacles are aiming a certain way. Ow. That's not nice! Didn't your... Hell spawn of a mother over here ever teach you any manners before she mutated you into existence? <laughs> oh, you've seen better days. All right. Bam. Oh no, another guy having. Oh my god, I forgot about these things. Oh, oh, oh god. It's like the Slender Man of Necromorphs. Ugh. Something very unnerving about long armed gangly monsters that lurch their way around like that. It's just. It's Lovecraftian, if you ask me. That was like that was like a bloodborne monster <laughs> right there. Oh god, we gotta move the furniture out the way. Ugh. Ugh, man. Yeah, that's one of the creepiest things you'll see today. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> wow, they just litter save points all over this area. I don't have a power node. What am I doing? All right, up the elevator we go. Oh, the cargo lift. I'm sorry. It's the same, it's the, whatever, it's blasted same thing, save the same purpose. Hello, audio log. Tell me stories of horrifyingness that happened here. Communications log. First comms operator Bailey reporting. The ship is under attack, but request to issue a distress call has been repeatedly denied by Captain Matthias. He won't say it, but everyone on the bridge knows why. This is an illegal operation in a prohibited system. We've all known for months, and we kept our mouths shut. Not anymore. Mayday, Mayday. Mayday, this is USG Ishimura. This is... What the hell? I don't believe this. The whole comm system is offline. Now he's gone too far. Bailey out. Okay, now we can advance. I just didn't want any dialogue that might appear uh, to... Anyways, we have another rail shooter segment coming up. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Where are the monsters at so I can shoot the faces off? Oh, hi. It never happens how I expect it to. There was a body hanging there, but that was just meant to scare you. 
Communications array offline. A service technician has been notified. That comms array is in bad shape. We need at least six working dishes for a strong enough signal. Make sure they're aligned symmetrically so there are no power gaps. Yeah, well, I need to pick up this uh, schematic for a medium air can so that I can, you know, get air cans that are, you know, medium size. Yes, uh, pulse rounds drop. Wait, do, are these semiconductors? Ah, I need, I should have sold those when I saw a store. I didn't even realize I had them. Okay, that would have freed up some inventory space. Got a stasis recharge right here, because we're going to need that, that's for sure. Because I'm pretty sure we got another outdoor section coming, hence the schematic for a medium air can. Well, not really outdoor, just... Well, it's going to be one of those zero gravity and, like, um, no air mixed sections. Good time to save, I bet. Future me is going to be annoyed with myself for how often I save, though, because that's just more editing I'm going to have to do. <laughs> Apologies to the future self who's editing this right now. Uh, power node! Um, oops, small med pack. No, I need, what's this, what's this? Gold semiconductor. Ah, I'm so full up on everything. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 I ruined that. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Now I can pick up this gold semiconductor. Wait, there's two of them? Ah, oh, that's not fair. Oh, well, I'll have to settle for one. Don't get greedy. It's the reason I have inventory problems in the first place. I knew it. Here it Entering comes. Entering zero gravity. Oh, well, it's only zero gravity. It's not zero air as well, so that's nice. I saw you all the way from over there. You didn't fool me. I see you trying to come at me. Yeah, it's a little harder to get to where you want to go in Zero G, isn't it? You slithering monstrosities. No, there's another one around here somewhere. Where are you? I hear you yelling. It'll just have to find me. Oh, there it is! Oh, and you're still alive! Okay, good. Now you're not. You know how I know? Because you dropped ammo. Am I supposed to blow this up? I forget what I'm supposed to do. This way. Uh, hi yo And this way? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, right. Okay. I forget exactly what I'm supposed to do here. I know that some of these need to be replaced. Because they broke. You know what I'm saying? They are broken in. I think I'm supposed to put all good ones in the, in the center. If I remember correctly. Hiya! This is the last good one in the center. Let's hope this is what I was supposed to do. Communications array realigned. Yep. Messages can now be received. Yep. Okay, I figured That's it was all the center. It's working. Get back to communications and use the control panel to send our coordinates to the Valor. You got it, Miss Lady Boss Person. Woohoo! <laughs> Walking up walls is fun. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Exiting zero gravity. Getting out of that zero G, getting out of that zero J. 
didn't see that before. Nope. Alright, back to communications. Certainly something will hinder my path along the way. Silly me. I'm already here. This is what I need to interact with. Duh. This is USM Valor, widecasting on all frequencies hey, to look, USG. Hey, look! It's World. Iron Man! In response to your SOS, we picked up your escape pod, number 47, and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. What? Isn't that the escape pod Hammond jettisoned? One of those things was on board. No! No, this isn't going to happen. USM Valor! Come in, Valor! Our signal isn't strong enough. I'm going to open the blast doors to boost the signal. <laughs> blast door blockage detected. Please contact a repair technician. Sounds yes. like another job for me! Isaac! There's something big on the hull of the ship, directly above the comms array. Uh-huh. Something organic. I don't know what it is, and I don't care. <laughs> we have to get the doors open to transmit to the Valor. You should have a clear shot from ADS Cannon 48. Get to the cannon and blow it out into space. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So, two things just happened here. One, we found out that that escape pod that was jettisoned into space was picked up by another ship, but there was one of these necromorphs on it, which means bad things for that ship. <laughs> which means this whole necromorph parasite thing is spreading now, so yay for that. Okay. Oh, I hear monsters. Well, wherever they were. Ooh, I didn't see that before. Nice. Okay. And two, basically just found out that there's something big and bad. Oh, hi! So you guys can use elevators now? taking a page from the uh, Dark Souls multiplayer. Get off here. Get get off my cargo lift. Get get off. You're not welcome. You piece of crap. You ugly. Matter of fact. No. You are a menace. Hide in there. Let your own kin feast on your remains. You evil prick. Alright, so. Um, rig. Yeah, we need to get, we need to upgrade our air because we're about to go outside, so. And it would be nice to get another HP upgrade here soon anyways. You know what I'm saying? Uh, should I save again? No, so, nah, screw it. There's gonna be another save point, like, a few feet the other way, in a minute. That's where I came from. This elevator was not working before. Now it is. Oop, 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 oop. there we go. Cargo lift. All of the elevators are called cargo lifts. Doesn't matter if it's just a little panel one or one of these regular ass, like, normal elevators. They're all just cargo lifts. Were any of them ever meant to be people lifts? Well, it's not like they had civilians visiting the space station. It was... Hello. You just opened on your own. Flying racks. No, I'm good. I don't want those. I'll take these credits, though. That, that box totally just opened on its own. Oh yeah, it's another one of these things. Remember when we did that Asteroids minigame? Told you there'd be another save station. This level just seems to have them in abundance. Alright. Time override initiated. Yep, it's a giant monster. Aha! Shoot the tentacles, shoot the weak spots, shoot the weak spots on the monster, shoot the weak spots, shoot the weak spots. I'm not very good at aiming this crap. Uh-oh. Don't let it hit us with the debris that it's throwing. 
This game is so early 2000s, you can tell by the types of boss battles and stuff. Like, this is some ratchet and clank shit right here. For real. Come on, why won't you die already? I hate the overheating crap. Alright, got one of the tentacles down. Should have got that down much earlier. Should just be focusing on one at a time instead of trying to hit them all at once, huh? Crap, bam! God, what do you just stand still? Gone with you, you giant head crab looking the thing. Communications array blast doors. There it goes. Uh, USM Valley, this is Kendra Daniels on the USG Ishimura. Come in. Do not open the escape pod. USM Valley, this is Kendra Daniels on the USG Ishimura. Come in. Do not open the escape pod. Damn it. Spawn. It's too late. Uh oh. Here they come. Oh, uh, look behind you, dude! Iron Man, no! Why did they open the Damn it. Why wouldn't they? They didn't know. Oh my god. Yep. It's headed right for us. Isaac! Isaac! Look out there! It's all falling apart here. <laughs> Isaac. <coughs> Isaac, are you there? Thank God you're all right. I've been trying to reach you. Someone's been blocking my rig signal remotely. <coughs> A crash must have interrupted the signal block. Hammond, where have you been? <coughs> Surviving. Barely. I found some med supplies and packed myself up. Listen. I'm calling a board on the mission. Fuck the CEC and fuck the chain of command. We have to get the hell out of here. I think I've located a shuttle on the crew deck. Flight log says it needs a new singularity core, but we can probably salvage one from the Valor. I can see the tail end of it sticking out from the side of the Ishimura. I'm headed down there now to find a way inside. I'll meet you there. Hammond out. Isaac, if what he says is true about the shuttle, we might have a chance of getting out of here. Head to the cargo bay and see if you can help Hammond. In his condition, he may not last long. Okay, I think that means that we're gonna take the shuttle to the next area. Yep, I just looked at the map and that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna take both the elevators and retrace our steps all the way back. Probably not without some resistance, though. Surely there will be enemies along the way. Okay. What? Which which way? No, stop turning around like that. Ugh. Okay, that way. That's what I thought. Wait, can I? I didn't open these before. <laughs> Probably because I got spooked by that. Oh, well, it's not things I need anyways. Uh oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. I knew there'd be something down here. Ooh, it's dark and spooky in here. I'll take that plasma energy, though. And this elevator will take us back into the area where we met our first group. Oh boy. Sounds like a whale. Oh. 
That really does sound like a whale. Except it's not, it's probably a brew. Or maybe it's that thing I heard. Oh, Hakabukeshlagen! Oh, it's those, it's that thing. Oh, yeah. Holy hell in a handbasket, I hate that monster so much. I, uh, oh, it gives me the willies. Oh good, a store. I'm gonna sell this crap I don't need real quick. Uh, oh god. Whatever it is, it's gonna... Oh, there it is. There's... Oh, it was just one of the bloaters. All right. Did you drop something for me? Ooh, thank you. 3,000 credits. Man, you were packing. That guy was rich before he got necromorphed. All right, on to the train and onward to Chapter 9. Chapter 9, Dead on Arrival. Well, that, um, oh, that was pretty good. We got through a whole chapter in under 40 minutes. I told you some of the chapters are shorter, some are longer, it just depends. Chapter 8 is actually one of the shorter ones. But anyways, Chapter 9 out of 12, we're getting close to the end game here. That's why enemies are getting more ferocious and horrifying and things are... You'll see, things are about to get cuckoo, as if they weren't already. But anyways, that'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the new slender moaning enemy uh, that they introduced in this chapter in the comments down below. Does he also give you the heebie-jeebies? Because he gives me the heebie-jeebies, that's for damn sure. <laughs> uh, sitting there sounding like a whale, looking like a... Burnt Slender Man. <laughs> I can't. Anyways, as per usual, let me know what you think so far in the comments down below. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.